Well, it's the story of a man reborn. Victor Woods, once fascinated by street life and quick money, began a life of crime after running away from home at the tender age of 15. But it took a trip to federal prison for Woods to realize his true purpose in life, traveling all across the country as a motivational speaker. And that has led Woods to Oklahoma's largest female prison. Our Jessica Betts met him at Mabel Bassett Correctional Center, where she continues our story. He's a man with nine felonies and has something to say. I remember I called my mother on the phone. I said, Mom, Mom, I, I know what I want to do finally in life. I, I want to be a motivational speaker and an author. And she called my dad in the next room. She said, hey, Irving, your son, the thief, wants to be a speaker. So. A memory Victor Woods recalls after accomplishing both goals. A vivid story he's sharing with staff. I was one of those guys. At 16 years old, you couldn't say anything to me. I just wanted to do the wrong thing. And inmates at Mabel Bassett Correctional Center in McLeod. You know, kind of, you know, grew up in the in the bosom of a, of a, a pretty stable African American family, but ran away home, from home at 15. And at the time that I ran away from home, that pretty much put me in the um, element of uh, that, that a lot of people who come from underprivileged backgrounds or, or coming from the inner city are having to deal with. I couldn't clothe myself, feed myself. And so in, in leaving home, that led me into, you know, foster care and, and uh, led me into trying to figure out how I was going to make money. And that led me into a life of crime. And then from there, uh, I was pretty good at it. So good, he came up with $40 million in credit card fraud, got busted, and spent six and a half years in federal prison. And going through that journey was when I basically came to the... Um, understanding within myself that I no longer wanted to live like this. And there's an old saying that if you want to keep getting what you're getting, keep mm -hmm. doing what you're doing. And uh, I didn't want to keep uh, repeating my prison experience. When we become sick and tired with being sick and tired, that is when you would change the condition of your life. That point of being sick and tired, how can that promote a change? And what can one do to then change? Well, when we become sick and tired, that's when someone finally says they, they're fed up. You know, you often see people complaining in, about a particular situation in their life. But when you truly become sick and tired of being sick and tired, change doesn't come overnight. You know, first you have to see it in your mind, as I often say then you have to believe it in your heart, and then you have to have the guts and courage to go out and physically make it happen. Now, you know Oklahoma is number one in the number of women it incarcerates. Mm -hmm. Why would you specifically want to visit Mabel Bassett Correctional Center and to influence this great number of women here? To say, look at me, look at my life, look at what I've been through, and look at what I did after I made some mistakes, look what I'm doing now, and impart on them um, a, a road map to success. And by this being the biggest uh, facility that's housing women in the country, this is a wonderful opportunity to do that. Gift of encouragement. It doesn't cost a thing to tell anybody, inmate, your wife, your husband, your child, uh, an employee, hey, I believe in you, I believe. You are ready for change. And because he thought he could, Woods is an author of the book, A Breed Apart, Journey to Redemption, and talking to all who will listen. This is Woods' second time in Oklahoma, and he plans to stop through the heartland more in the future. There seems to be a collective cooperation here in Oklahoma in terms of people coming together and being on the same page and wanting to get things done now and understanding the urgency of some of the problems that people in Oklahoma and are facing from all walks of life providing recipes for success for anyone willing to change.